Wondering what the most important Google Analytics metrics that you can measure are and what you can use that data for? Well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through 11 of the most important metrics to track in 2022 to grow your traffic and build your business. Let's get started. First, let me show you a super easy way to set up Google Analytics in WordPress so you can get started fast, and then we're going to dive right into how you can see and use those metrics. If you have a WordPress website, the easiest way to install and connect Google Analytics is with the Monster Insights plugin. Monster Insights allows you to easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics, both Universal Analytics and GA4. That way you can see all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. And with just a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features, such as event tracking and e-commerce tracking. Plus, you can easily track forms, custom dimensions, outbound links, media, and a lot more. To get started, you'll need to install Monster Insights. Be sure to choose the license level that has all the features that you're going to need or get started with our light version from the WordPress repository. For this tutorial, we'll be using Monster Insights Pro. So let's look at how to install Monster Insights Pro to a WordPress site. First, you'll need to head over to the Monster Insights pricing page and select Monster Insights Pro. Once you're all signed up, go to your account area, then head over to the Download tab and download the zip file of the plugin to your computer. Next, log in to your WordPress site, and then on the admin sidebar, click Plugins, and then select Add New. And then click the Upload Plugin button at the top of the page. Now you can either click Choose File or just drag and drop the zip file here and click Install Now. Once that's done, just activate the Monster Insights plugin. Okay, now you'll need to connect Google Analytics 4 or Universal Analytics or both to your website. Now don't worry, just follow the steps in the Setup Wizard and the plugin will automatically add Google Analytics to your site without needing to edit any code. If you'd like more details, be sure to check out the link in the description to our guide on how to add Google Analytics to WordPress. Now let's get into that list of the top 11 metrics that Google Analytics can measure. Many of these reports can be found right inside the Monster Insights dashboard in WordPress. That way you don't have to log into Google Analytics to be able to see them. With the Google Analytics Traffic Source Report, you can see your total traffic and breakdown of how those people found your site. To access the Traffic Source Report in GA4, go to Reports, then to Acquisition, and then to Traffic Acquisition. Now scroll down to the table to see the metrics for each channel. Then hover over a heading like Engage Sessions, and you'll see a helpful tooltip about what that metric means. To access the Traffic Sources Report in Universal Analytics, just go to Acquisition, and then to All Traffic, and then to Channels. The Demographics Report is important whether you've got international traffic or local visitors. It can help you get a good idea of where your website visitors are located, and that can help you decide which areas to target with your content or ads. In GA4, you'll need to go to Reports, then to Demographics, then to Demographics Overview. The card at the top displays users by country, and there's a card just underneath that one that's going to show you users by city. Just click the link to view countries or cities on that card, whichever one will help you the most. Now, to see the location report in Universal Analytics, you'll need to go to Audience, then to Geo, and then to Location. If you want to dive in further, click on a country. To see region, which is a state here in the U.S., then click on a region to see city results. The Landing Pages report allows you to gain a lot of insight by finding out which pages people are landing on when they visit your site. That's going to show you the keywords, which links people are clicking on from your social media profiles, which landing pages lead to the longest website visits, what content resonates the most with your audience, and a lot more. In GA4, you'll have to build your own landing pages report in the Explorations tab. Now, this sounds intimidating, but once you get it set up, you won't have to make it again, and you can tweak it to fit your needs. You can see a full tutorial by clicking on the link in the description to our guide on GA4 landing pages reports. Now, to find the landing pages report in Universal Analytics, just go to Behavior, then to Content, and then to Landing Pages. If you activate the Demographics and Interest Report, or Google Signals, if you're using GA4, Google's going to tell you the age and gender of your visitors. Then you can use that information to tailor your message or decide 
who to target with your ads on Google or social media. You can find your demographics reports in GA4 by going to Reports, then to Demographics, and then to the Demographics Overview. To find the demographics report in Universal Analytics, just go to Audience, then to Demographics, and then to Overview. Let's look at social media traffic. If you're posting on social media sites like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, or Pinterest, you want to know how many pages users are viewing, conversion rates, and more. That way you can improve your social media traffic. Now, to see those metrics, you'll need to build a custom exploration report. If you haven't done that yet, you'll want to check out the link in the description to our handy guide on how to create a custom report in GA4. Now, to get started creating a custom social media traffic report, you'll need to go to your analytics account and then go to the Explore tab. Once the exploration page loads, you'll need to start a new custom exploration report by clicking on the blank template. Next, give your report a name. Now, you'll need to select and import your dimensions. To import dimensions, just click the plus button next to dimensions, and then either use a search function or drop-down menu and click on the box next to each dimension to select it. So for this report, we'll be selecting Session Source, Session Default Channel Grouping, and Landing Page. Now, once you've chosen your dimensions, just click the Import button at the top right. Next, you'll need to select and import your metrics. So, click the plus button next to Metrics, and again, either use the Search function or drop-down function to locate each one. Then, click on the box next to each metric to select it. For this report, we'll be selecting Sessions, Engage Sessions, User Engagement, Engagement Rate, and Conversions. Now, once you've chosen all your metrics, be sure to click the Import button at the top right. Now, you'll need to drag Session Source from your dimensions into the Rows box. Then, drag all five metrics into the Values box. Next, drag Session Default Channel Grouping from your dimensions into the Filters box. Then, configure your filter to exactly matches and type or choose Organic Social. Now you should have a social media channels report that looks something like this. If you'd like to view your social traffic by landing page instead of social network, then swap out session source for landing page in the rows box. In Universal Analytics, you can see at a glance how much traffic you're getting from each network, or click the shared URL report to see which links that you shared on social media that got the most links. You can find the social overview report by going to acquisition, then to Social, and then to Overview. By connecting Google Analytics with Google Search Console, you can see which queries your site ranks for, so you can focus on specific keywords that could boost your SEO. To find the report in GA4, you'll first need to follow the instructions for adding the report to your library. We'll leave a link in the description. Then you'll be able to find the report under Reports, and then Search Console, and then Queries. To find the queries report in Universal Analytics, you'll need to go to Acquisition, then to Search Console, and then to Queries. Conversions and goals are important regardless of the specific goal that you have for your site, whether it be sales, prospects, subscribers, ad clicks, or whatever. But since these goals vary from site to site, Google doesn't come with conversions or goals already set up. So in GA4, you can mark existing events as conversions. To do that, head over to the left navigation, and click Configure, and then Events. Next, locate the event in the existing events table. OK, in the Events Mark as Conversions column, click to turn the switch on. Now you'll see conversions in many of your reports, including the conversion report under Engagement. For more on setting conversions in GA4, be sure to check out our guide. We'll leave a link in the description. In Universal Analytics, you have to decide what counts as a goal for your site and then tell Google Analytics to count it as a goal. Now, to find the Goals report, you'll need to go to Conversions and then to Goals. The New versus Returning Visitors report gives you more information about your visitors. And depending on the type of site that you run and what your goals are, you can use that report to see if you're attracting the right kind of visitors. 
So, for instance, if you sell products, you probably want a mix of new and returning visitors. If you check this report and you see that visitors are mostly new, then you want to do some work to get those previous customers to come back and make another purchase. In GA4, you can find the new and returning visitors report in the retention report. If you're using Universal Analytics, you can find this report by going to Audience, then to Behavior, and then to New versus Returning. Engagement is one of the most important Google Analytics metrics. It indicates whether users are finding what they're looking for on your site and engaging with your content. The average engagement time for your site shows you, on average, how long visitors are spending on your site. So in GA4, you can find that metric by going to Engagement, and then to Overview. To find your average engagement time per page, navigate to Engagement, then to Pages and Screens, then scroll down to the table. And depending on the size of your screen, you might have to scroll the table a little bit to the right to be able to find the average engagement time column. Now in Universal Analytics, pages per session are the average of how many pages your users are looking at during their visit. Average visit duration is how long that visit took on average. Both of these engagement metrics can be used to get a quick look at how engaged your users are on your site. If you think your visitors should be sticking around a bit longer, then you'll need to figure out how to get them to click to more pages. The Pages report shows you all the page views and shows the top pages visitors go to once they visit your site. That helps you to see what type of content they're looking at once they arrive. In GA4, you can find the Pages report by going to Engagement and then to Pages and Screens. Now scroll down to find the table where all the pages listed that your users visited in the selected time frame. In Universal Analytics, you can find this in the All Pages report under Behavior, then Content, and then All Pages. The Mobile Devices report shows you which mobile devices were used to access your site and see if there might be a problem with a certain device. So, for example, if one device seems to have a much higher bounce rate than the rest or low average time on page, then you might need to do some testing on that type of device. In GA4, you can find mobile devices by going to Reports, then to Tech, and then to Tech Overview. Now scroll all the way to the bottom to find Users by Device Model Card. Then click the link at the bottom to view the full report. In the table on the next page, you'll find information for each device model that visited your site. Note that some devices are lumped by which browser they were using. Now in Universal Analytics, you can find that report by going to Audience, then to Mobile, and then to Devices. And there you have it, the 11 important Google Analytics metrics to track in 2022. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.